Dawson Scott is a journalist who has spent his past years covering the war in Afghanistan. Gary, his godfather, introduces him to a story that began 40 years ago. He is pressured to cover the disappearance and presumed murder of former Marine Jeremy Wesson. Jeremy Wesson is the biological son of a pair of terrorists who remain in the FBI's most wanted list. Captain Jeremy Wesson's DNA matched that of a baby blanket that was once found in a Golden Branch house from which terrorist Carl Wingard and his lover Flores de Mel escaped, leaving behind a newborn child. Dawson agrees to fly to Savannah, Georgia to cover Mr. Wesson's trial in honor of how significantly important this man to Gary's career in the FBI. As Amelia, Jeremy's ex-wife, becomes present at court, Dawson suddenly becomes more interested in the case. Amelia is a museum curator and the mother of two boys. These boys are the center of her life and she would do anything to keep them safe. What no one knows is that the more time Dawson spends covering this trial is the more he falls in love with Amelia. Dawson's decision to follow Amelia and her two sons to a beach house in Sand Nelda's Island where she decides to spend some time along with Nanny Steph will soon stir up the future of the story. Soon, the death of Nanny Steph intensifies the story, with Dawson becoming the suspect of killing her during a storm that hits the island. Everything becomes so mysterious when Jeremy is found to be alive and is said to be in possible contact with Carl Winger, his father. In an attempt to hurt Gary by killing Dawson, Dawson's real identity is revealed. He is the son of Flora, whom she gave birth to in 1976 before she escaped with Carl in an ambush planned by the FBI. Dawson is now trapped in a story that began years ago. Who killed Nanny's death? And why did Jeremy fake his death?